Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe because I make new videos every single Sunday. Today I'm finally going to be making a video about how to get a job on campus because I've been working on campus at SJSU in the transportation department for about five months now and some of you have asked me for some advice for getting a job on campus. So I thought that I'd make a video about it and hopefully help some of you out. Before I get into my tips and advice, I just want to say that everything I'm going to talk about in this video is from my own experience. Don't sue me if you don't get a job on campus. The first step that you want to take when you're looking for jobs on campus is to find jobs that you want to apply for. My school posts their on-campus job opportunities on a website called Handshake, but your school might have some other system. Someone at your school's career center or one of your friends will probably be able to tell you where to find the jobs. Most schools don't really post their job applications on Indeed or LinkedIn or anything like that, so you want to figure out what sort of website or system they use. Then you just want to look through all of the job listings and put together a list of some of the ones that you might be interested in applying to. Second thing that you want to do after you know where you want to apply is getting your application and resume and everything else ready to apply. If you want me to make a whole video about making a resume or a link LinkedIn page, I can totally do that. But I'd suggest asking your friends, your family members, and maybe even your school's career center for some help on your resume or LinkedIn page if you've never really done either of those things before because your resume and LinkedIn will really help you stand out and show that you're serious about the job. Another thing that you might need is a cover letter. Some jobs don't really require this anymore, but it's basically a letter that you send to the hiring manager telling them why you think that you would be a good fit for the job. The cover letter just kind of goes beyond the resume and shows a little bit about who you are as a person. Once again, I would suggest having someone look over over that just to make sure that it looks good and that it doesn't have any typos or anything. And then for some jobs you might also need a portfolio, especially if it's something more creative. For your portfolio I would suggest picking different projects that you've worked on that would be relevant to that job. They're going to be looking through a lot of applications so you really want to make sure that you're showing them things that would make your application stand out. The same thing goes for your resume and cover letter. On-campus jobs can be really competitive because a lot of people want to work on campus because usually on-campus jobs will be willing to work with your college schedule a lot more. So make sure that the formatting is good, make sure that you're really putting all of your relevant work experiences and skills, and don't be afraid to be confident in yourself and really talk about the things that you're good at. You're going to want to make some tweaks to all those things for each individual job, but it's a good idea to have a resume, a cover letter, and a portfolio ready to go. The third thing that you want to do after you've done all of that is send in the actual applications. Most of the time this is done online, but some, but some jobs might require you to come in in person. Because on-campus jobs are really competitive, apply to all of the jobs that you would be interested in. I applied to dozens of on-campus jobs before I even got an interview. So don't get discouraged if you don't get an interview. Just keep working on your resume and your cover letter and your portfolio and keep applying. You will probably eventually get an interview. I've already talked about job interviews in a few other videos, but I'm going to talk about it a little bit again because I have a lot more experience with job interviews now. When you show up to your interview, make sure that you're dressed well. You probably don't have to wear a suit for most of these on-campus jobs, but just wear something nice, wear something that you feel confident in, and then bring a few extra copies of your resume just in case. If you haven't had that many job interviews in the past, I would highly suggest looking up a list of common job interview questions and practicing those with a friend or family member or anyone that's willing to help you because I know that a lot of people can get kind of intimidated by job interviews because it can be pretty stressful especially if you really want the job so just practice a little bit ahead of time so that you're ready you're probably going to get asked a few questions that specifically relate to the job that you're applying to so be prepared for those as well but as I said with the resume and cover letter don't be afraid to be confident and really talk about what you know how to do and how you'd be able to help the university or the specific department that you're applying to because at the end of the day they really want someone that's going to be able to help them. Then after your interview's over, I'd suggest sending an email to whoever you interviewed with, thanking them for interviewing you, but just so that they know that you appreciate them taking the time out of their day to interview you. And then after that, I'd suggest giving them a few weeks to make their decision. Don't call them or email them every day. That's just going to annoy them because they already probably have to deal with a lot of calls and emails. But if you don't hear back from them after two or three weeks, then I think it's okay to email them or call them and ask them how the application process is going and if they've made a decision yet. And if you don't get the first job or the second job or the third job or the 10th job that you apply to. It's not the end of the world. I applied to dozens and dozens of jobs on campus before I even got an offer. Remember that these on-campus jobs are really competitive, but if you really want one, keep applying, keep working hard, and just try to build your skills in any way that you can. Those are my main tips for getting a job on campus. If you have any other questions, feel free to comment down below and I'll try my best to answer them. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I love you all so much. Stay awesome and I'll see all of you very soon with a new video. Goodbye.